Communities as a Solution to Unemployment. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 338. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is weekly progress update number 338, September 15th, 2019 edition. Uh, One Community's goal, if you're not familiar with it, is to bring together people with a consciousness for the highest good of all life on this planet and to build sustainable and self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. And today's topic that I'd like to focus on is communities as a solution to unemployment because these self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs are definitely a solution to unemployment. And the reason why that's important is because from our perspective, we see unemployment as a growing opportunity, really. Automation is replacing most of the manufacturing jobs that used to supply jobs for a large percentage of the population. Automation is also about to replace most of the driving jobs, trucking jobs, and delivery jobs, things like that. And artificial intelligence now is replacing a lot of the jobs where people are taking phone calls and answering questions and customer service jobs, things like that. Computers are replacing most of these jobs. And we see this as an opportunity because we think that most of these jobs are not jobs that really bring people joy. They're probably not jobs that people just love to go to work at every single day and they feel like they're growing and prospering and doing something important in the world. We think that there could be a better way for people. There could be a better opportunity for people. And so community is a solution to unemployment. Everything that you see here happening in the background of the video is supportive of that. It's building the infrastructure and the foundations for that. Teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs to be built around the world to bring the resources where they're needed most to provide a more fulfilling and enriching way of living. That's what we're creating. We're taking the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, and we're combining them with the emotional foundations of sustainability, which are we've identified as fulfilled living practices, highest good education models, highest good economic models, and true stewardship. We're putting these things together to create teacher demonstration hubs that can be built anywhere in the world and will provide people everything that they need to live sustainably, to live fulfilled and enriching lives, and to share that with others as well. And so we see this as a way to, as a solution to unemployment, because for people that are hardworking, dedicated, responsible, honest people, this will be a place where any of those people can go and provide their services and be a part of a community. They can find people with common values, with shared ideas and shared vision, and integrate and incorporate into that organization, become a part of it, and it will provide everything that they need for them and their families. And not just the, the, re, the requirements, not just food, energy, and housing, but those other emotional aspects as well. The joy of living, the social and recreational environment, sharing a common vision and goals with people and working together as a lifestyle that most people would consider to be a vacation or recreation experience. And how are we doing this? Well, it's everything that you see happening in the background here. Building sustainable teacher demonstration communities, villages, and cities and hubs that where people are growing their own food, where people are producing their own energy, where the cost of living is very, very low, and the rewards of living within these environments is very, very high. Also providing an environment where people, if they want to work from remote locations and provide their work from within the community, can do that. Or if people want to live within these communities and, and create businesses and build businesses so that they could create self-sufficiency and sustainability for themselves and their families in that way. This is our idea for communities as a solution to unemployment. To provide a place that anybody that's unemployed but is a hard worker, a dedicated individual, and, and wants to, can go and provide their services and be a part of something amazing. And so one community is already modeling this. We're an all, all volunteer, nonprofit, non-government organization, and anybody that wants to come and volunteer and work with us can. And we're working towards that point where we can move onto the property and turn what is currently a virtual experience into a living experience. And as we build out the infrastructure and create the housing and start growing the food and producing our own energy and providing our own education program, all those things will create an environment where people will be able to say, hey, I would like to be a part of this. And what I have to offer is my time. 
then it won't cost anything for people to enter in that environment, but all of their needs will be provided for. So if somebody's unemployed and they're like, man, I'm a hardworking, dedicated individual and I see what it is that you're doing and I'd like to be a part of that, you know, can you provide a place for me and my family to live that where I will be taken care of? The answer is yes. And it's all open source and free shared so that it can be replicated around the world. And the bigger picture, the long-term vision, is that industries that are doing manufacturing and things of that nature where most of this can be automated could build sustainable communities so the staff that would be able to run these sustainable organizations and industries could be able to do that in a place where all their housing, all their food is provided for them, you know, cars, everything that they need is cooperatively and collaboratively provided. And then they would contribute their time and energy to creating something that would be ethically constructed ethically built and hopefully open source and free shared globally just like one community is. So this is our idea for communities as a solution to unemployment. Build self-sustainable, self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs, open source and free share them so that people can then combine their resources and create a place that supports them, supports their friends, supports their families, and supports others from the outside that say, hey, I can offer my time, I can offer my services, would you like my help? And as this idea becomes self-replicating and spreads across the world, more and more opportunities, we would like to create a labor shortage within these communities. We'd like to create a situation where these communities are saying, we need more people because we're expanding so rapidly and there's so many around the world. Where would you like to live? And to coordinate that process so that people say, oh man, I would, I've always wanted to live in Thailand, or I've always wanted to live in Africa, or I've always wanted to live in Australia, or I've always wanted to live in South America. You know, what are the opportunities for me there? These are my skill sets. You know, places where people can go build their skill sets, increase their skill sets without any financial investment, and then be of even more value to be able to go into other places. And a network, a structure, a highest good collaborative group of people working together, creating communities as a solution unemployment where they're looking outreach and outreach program saying, hey, we need people to come and help build this. And in the process, you will build your own home. You will eat food that is higher quality than anything you can buy in the grocery store. You will be guaranteed clean air and clean water and everything that you need in one place and more recreation and social activities than you could get even in a major metropolitan area all within walking distance. This is it. A more enriching lifestyle, a more fun lifestyle, a lower cost of overhead, and living ethically with every moment of our lives, working together to create a better world for everybody and sharing this opportunity with anybody that wants to participate. This is what one community is doing. So with that said, here is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of communities as a solution to unemployment. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team ran energy usage calculations and researched the costs of running our top five hand dryers for 1,000 cycles. We then updated the most sustainable hand dryers options page to reflect what we learned. This led to updated text and changing the order of our top three recommendations, which you can see here. Brianna Olson, sustainability researcher, also completed her 13th week as a member of the team. This week, she finished the written content editions for the most sustainable faucet options updates. You can see some of this work here. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, completed his 66th week developing the Murphy Bed instructions. This week's focus was redoing the parts numbers and adding new page numbers for the clothing and storage area shown here. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team returned to creating the most sustainable adhesives page. This week, we created the resources section, AFM safe coat section, and bonus sections shown here. We'd say this brings this page to about 90% complete. Ron Wang, mechanical engineer, continued with his 19th week working on the energy modeling for our LEED Platinum certification and City Center open source HVAC design tutorial. This week he tested various air to water and central heat pump systems in Energy Plus. 
The former looks more promising than the latter in terms of energy performance. You can see some of this work here. Sneha Dongre, structural engineer, also continued with her 24th week helping with the Duplical City Center structural details. This week she started working with SAP 2000 by continuing the work of creating poly areas for the floors and roofs. She also identified and continued fixing areas that are still missing in AutoCAD. Kimi Ozermard, senior plumbing engineer, additionally continued with his fifth week as a member of the team. Kimi's focus this week was creating individual architectural floor plan reference files based on the latest master floor plan and setting each one with a new 00, zero coordinate for proper overlapping. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team researched and designed the goat feeding and water stations. We designed the stations in SketchUp 3D using trash cans and barrels. You can see these designs on the top row and some of the source research below. The core team also began research and designs for his and her rabbit hutches, as shown here. And the core team completed the site analysis and assessment sections for the open source permaculture design page. These new sections include fences, soil conditions, planting, animals, and economy. You can see some of this behind the scenes work here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. With eight years invested in designing it, this component of one community is pretty much complete until we move on to the property and continue to develop it with teachers and students. Completed sections include comprehensive subject outlines covering arts and trades, English, health, math, science, social sciences, technology and innovation, and values. Also, 52 weekly themed lesson plans covering all the subjects we just mentioned, all learning levels and ages, and usable in any learning environment. 12 detailed and progressive curriculum outlines are also complete, summaries and integration of all the best-known alternative education programs, including Montessori, Waldorf, ORF, Regio, and more, and leadership skills, collaborative assessment formats and forums, a global online free education resource hub, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team working with Brian Gilb, project management professional, created the work breakdown structure analysis chart shown here for the highest good network and also edited and simplified our policies and procedures and tangible contribution pages. Emilio Nehera, digital marketer, also continued with his 45th week as part of the marketing team. This week he finished research and creation of the campaign for the new Most Sustainable Hand Dryers page. There you have it. There's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of communities as a solution to unemployment. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. If you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to One Community Updates and we will add you to our newsletter list. And of course, if you'd like to help out, visit our helping page. The easiest way to help out is join us on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, like this video, and we are on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We are on Facebook, we are on Twitter, we are on LinkedIn, we are on Tumblr, we are on Reddit, we are on Pinterest, we are on Instagram, we are on Mix, and about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible. So wherever you like to social media, we are there. And if you'd like to help us out, share our information, like our information on any of our pages, help us uh, just increase our exposure. It makes a big difference. If you'd like to donate to our project, that makes a big difference as well. As I've said before, we are all we are 100% unpaid uh, staff, including myself. So 100% of donations goes towards forwarding our open source global mission. And it doesn't go to paychecks for me or anybody else on the team. So any donation, even if it's just $5, really helps out. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. Thanks for watching to the end. That makes a big difference as well. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks.